So, do you know what spiritual therapy is? No, I don't know. No. Do the girls know what spiritual therapy is? Yes. yes. Yeah. Do you? Um, do you know about the services, like the chaplain center here? Yeah. Do you know what spiritual therapy is? No. The religion involves beliefs, practices, rituals related to the sacred. Spirituality is more personal and individualistic experience and has no connection with religion and its view, rules, regulation, and associates. Some individuals may think that chaplain services do not support LGBTQ services on campus, but Father John Perez, uh, one of the campus chaplains, is the Pride Club advisor, and his church has strong connections with the LGBTQ community. The chaplain services on campus serve students of all denominations and faith, from Catholics and Christians to Muslims and Jewish students. Some think that spiritual and religious therapy is ineffective and actually it benefits students in many ways. Some of these benefits include higher levels of self-esteem, health, well-being, and quality of life. Um, other benefits related to mental disorders are related to stress, anxiety, depression, and perception of body image. Uh, my name is uh, Elaine Gehrman. I'm one of the chaplains here on the chaplain team. I'm also co-minister at the Unitarian Universalist Church of the Monterey Peninsula. I'm Clark Brown. I'm one of the chaplains here at CSUMB, and uh, I also serve as pastor of St. Timothy Lutheran Church in Monterey. Hi, I'm John Perez. Um, I'm an Episcopal priest and the, the senior of the campus chaplains here at CSUMB. Um, I also have a congregation in Marina, uh, a joint Lutheran and Episcopal congregation. Everyone on campus and um, uh, although we are each trained within our own um, spiritual tradition, um, the, the line doesn't stop at our spiritual tradition. The role of a chaplain is to serve everyone as far as their tradition allows them to serve. Many different kinds of benefits, and it would de depend on um, the person and on the need. Um, the first thing that comes to mind is that uh, sometimes people are coming to a, a college and leaving home for a long period of time for the first time in their life and so um, it's a matter of making some connections that you know aren't there anymore. We are first and foremost a uh, listening ear for people and we have to do has very little to do with religion. It's just that being present with the students where they're at, what their <laughs> needs are and it gives you a community thing from um, ethics and questions about what's going on in our world today in politics to relationships with their parents to you know boyfriend girlfriends and their sexuality um, so it really is varied and um, the thing that it, that is unique um, as we separate out the counseling from the chaplains is that uh, the counselors have a tendency or are clinical they're in their office we're out there participating in the lives of the students. Uh, we may be having dinner with them, uh, participate in service events with them. Um, so we have a much more um, hands-on experience. Our encounters with us, while we do do individual appointments, are also informal. So again, our drop-in kind of lunch and uh, table in the dining commons or at Starbucks and with clubs or groups or whatever are that you don't have to it doesn't have to be a formal appointment or ongoing series of counseling sessions but mm -hmm. it, again we just try to establish relationships with students I, I would not use therapy I think we're here to uh, walk the journey of life with them um, and uh, that we don't necessarily uh, are here to try to achieve a certain goal uh, a, a mental health goal with them, but to be a part of their process of self-discovery.